Welcome. We're ready to do some more Pilates today. We're gonna do a 30 minute total workout. We're gonna use weights today. So I'm Monica and this is Paula here. She's gonna help with demonstrating. Let's start with some breath. All right, in Pilates, we inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. So let's take a nice big inhale and exhale, drawing the ribs in. Again, inhale, breathing into the side ribs and exhale, draw the ribs in. Inhale and exhale, all the air out. Beautiful, inhale and exhale. Try and bring that navel to spine, drawing in those abdominals. Last time, inhale and exhale. Keep using that breath throughout the class. That is Pilates breath, okay? Always bring that navel to spine. Let's do it. We're gonna come onto our backs. We're gonna get long, lean. All right, come onto your backs. You're gonna draw those knees in. Reach the arms long and low. So keep your low back in the mat. You're gonna keep the tips of the shoulder blades in the mat. Curl your chin towards your chest. Now draw the shoulder blades down to make your arms longer, okay? Extend the legs about 45 degrees. Inner thighs rotate out so your heels are together, toes apart. Flatten your tummy down. Keep your gauge. You're start pumping those arms up and down. Nice and vigorous. This is our warm up. This gets the blood circulating. Let's add the breath. Gonna inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale, pumping those arms. And exhale, draw the ribs and navel to spine. Four, five, keep going. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, keep drawing the rib cage close. Exhaling, flattening the belly down. That's it, guys. I know these are challenging. Really pump those arms. Keep drawing the shoulders down. We're getting long and lean here. That's it. We have three more sets. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, draw the ribs and navel to spine. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last set. Two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four. 100, draw those knees in. Rest your head back. Take a big inhale and an exhale. So you're gonna feel the burn in your belly there and your legs as well. We're gonna continue on. So we're gonna really work these abs now. All right, so the knees are gonna come in. The arms are straight up overhead. This is called coordination. Joseph Pilates really wanted you to keep focused, so you have to focus to do this correctly. You're gonna take an inhale, curl the chin to the chest, reach the arms long and low. We're back in that hundreds position. Pressing your tummy down, ribs are in, reaching the arms. You're gonna exhale, draw the knees and arms in at the same time. We're back to where we started. Inhale, extend, reach through those fingers and toes, squeezing your bottom. And exhale, draw the knees in. We're gonna add on on this one. This is where the coordination comes in. Inhale, extend, reaching the arms, squeeze your thighs. Now you're gonna just float your arms up without moving your torso right by those ears. And then you're gonna reach the arms down long and low again. And then exhale, draw the knees and arms up, head down. Here we go again. Inhale, extend, reach, squeeze your thighs. Exhale, float the arms by the ears. Inhale, reach the arms, draw those shoulders down, and exhale, bring the knees in and arms up. Again, inhale, extend, reach, squeeze, zip those legs together, flatten those tummies. Exhale, reach through those fingers, yet drawing the shoulders down. And inhale, reach the arms, and exhale, draw it all in. Again, inhale, the arms and legs go together. Exhale, float the arms by the ears. Now inhale, reach with those arms long and low. Make your arms nice and long. Exhale, draw it all in. Again, inhale, extending, reaching. Good, she's gonna follow her breath. So this is really working the core, all right? You're working your low abdominals and those upper abdominals by reaching your arms up and over, you're engaging those side muscles and up here, okay? So we wanna draw all that in. You're also working your legs. We're gonna get those legs longer and leaner by squeezing those thighs together. Beautiful. And exhale. We're gonna work and do 20 of these. All right, so I know this is a lot of work. You're gonna follow your breath. If you need to, you can take a break. You can always put one hand behind the head. If your neck starts bothering you, that is quite all right. It does happen in Pilates. Reaching 
and drawing it all in. Beautiful. Squeeze the thighs, float the arms, then reach the arms and draw it all in together. Again, inhale, extend. So exhale, float the arms and inhale, reaching the arms and exhale, drawing it in. Beautiful. I think we have five more here. I don't think we, I've been counting, so that's my bad. Let's do three more. Inhale, extend. That's it. Exhale, float the arms up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, draw the knees and arms up. Two more. Inhale, extend, squeeze. Float the arms up on the exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, draw it in. We've got one more. Inhale, extend, squeeze those thighs, then float the arms up, reach the arms, and exhale, draw it all in. Give yourself a little hug here. So you all should feel nice and burning. This should be on fire, yeah? All right, well, we're gonna continue on with that same idea. This is also part of coordination. And we're gonna keep the arms still, and we're gonna move the legs this time. So we're gonna come back down, you're gonna stay down, sorry. The knees are in again, arms are straight up to the sky. So again, you want those shoulder blades to stay on the mat. You wanna keep the back of the neck long. You don't wanna use your neck to hold the head up. Your head's quite heavy. All right, so you're gonna take an inhale, curl the chin to the chest, reach the arms, squeeze your thighs. So you wanna get the position straight first. That low back is in the mat, your belly's flat. You're gonna open, close your legs, and then exhale, draw the knees in and arms up. So it's a snap of the legs. The emphasis is on the in, uh, bringing the legs together. All right, so we're gonna inhale, extend, reach, open, close, and exhale, draw the knees and arms up. Inhale, extend, reach, squeeze, open, close, and exhale it in. And inhale, reach, open, close, and exhaling. Again, inhale, reach, and squeeze those thighs, open, close, and exhale. Inhale, reach, draw in those shoulders down, and exhale, beautiful. Inhale, reach, open, close. So on that open, close, we're working the low belly here. Again, when we're reaching and keeping everything still, you're working the upper part of your abdominals. We're also working those legs, getting those legs as long as you can here. So we're gonna be lean and tall at the end of Pilates. We're all gonna grow two inches. Beautiful, we have five more, inhale. Open, close, and exhale. I know you can do it, guys. We're starting to feel the burn. Beautiful, and open, close. So if you start fatiguing, you can always bring your legs up a little bit higher so you don't go into your back. We wanna always protect the low back here. So the lower your legs are, the, the more you're gonna use your abdominal strength, but it's also just adding a little bit more weight. That's the only difference. And bring those knees and give yourself a nice hug, guys. Let's take a nice big inhale and exhale. Oh, that must feel so good. All right, we're gonna come to standing. We're gonna grab our weights. And we're gonna go into some little lunges. We're gonna start with one knee on the floor first. So let's see here. We're gonna bring the right knee in front and your left knee down. All right, so your back leg can, your toes can be curled under or they can be flat. That's no big deal. The knee must be over your ankles, shoulders over your hips. We're gonna start with the arms in front, drawing the shoulders down. So I'm lifting through the crown of my head and I'm keeping this in. I'm just gonna curl it up and down. Keep the elbows glued. Inhale and exhale and inhale. Keep drawing the shoulders down. Keep the rib cage closed. That means draw, imagine you have a corset tied around you and you're bringing this all in, the navel in. Okay. And 10. Now you're gonna cur make sure those toes are curled under, lift your back leg, straighten it up. Lift up a little higher, now firm up that back leg. Knee over your heel, your ankle, there it is. We're gonna curl it up and down and up and down. And three, and four, don't forget to breathe, guys. And five, and six, keep straightening that back leg. Maybe sink a little deeper, that's it. And nine, 
and 10. All right, place that knee down. We're gonna switch sides and do that again. So the right knee comes down, the left leg comes up. All right, again, remember that placement. It's really important so you don't go through your knee. Knee right over that ankle. Elbows glued to your side. Curl the back toes under. Lifting through the crown of your head. Keep those shoulders in line with those hips. Elbows glued, here we go, for 10 and nine. Think about squeezing your booty here too. Drawing those ribs in. Beautiful, we're nice and aligned. Five and four. Beautiful guys, three, two. Get ready, we're gonna lift up that back leg. So lift it up, straighten it out. Really straighten that back leg. Here we go, curling and 10. And nine, maybe sink a little deeper. Eight and seven. Breathing, guys, lifting through the crown of the head. And four and three. Keep straightening that back leg. And last one, and bring the knee down. Oh, how are you feeling? So we're working not the arms, not only the arms, but also the legs. All right, so we're gonna come back into another low lunge. All right, so we're gonna do what's called the bug. Actually, we're gonna come up a little bit higher on this one. All right, and you're gonna hinge forward. All right, your hips are even, elbows are out to the side. You're gonna lift the elbows up. We're gonna look like a bug spreading its wings and draw the hands together and up and together. That's it. And lift them up and together. So you wanna keep that back leg firm, your navel to spine. Beautiful, so we're working those back arms. We have four more, beautiful. Good, she's lifting, navel to spine. So again, this, to keep yourself stable, you are using those abdominals. She's got one more here, guys. Lift, beautiful, and step it back. Ah, so you're really working that leg as well. We're working the booty. All right, ready for the other side. We're gonna take that left foot forward, and you're gonna hinge your, at your hips forward. Draw the shoulders down, bring the ribs in. Now bring that belly button all the way to the back of your spine. Again, you're lifting from the elbows. And three, nice. And four. So she's breathing, you're reaching through the crown of your head. Remember Pilates, you wanna get nice, long and lean here. So she's reaching through the back of the heel and reaching through the crown of the head. Keep drawing the rib cage close, three more. Good, and two, and last one. Beautiful. Come to standing. Great job, guys. We're gonna go into some archery. That's just what you always wanted to do, right? You're gonna step the right leg forward in a bend. You're gonna bring both arms parallel in front of you. So you're lifting up here. So my hips are directly below my shoulders. I'm not hinging forward, right? Shoulders are down. Arms are in front. I'm gonna draw my arrow, bring my right arm to the back, and then reach it back up. Again, I'm gonna draw it back, then press the elbow back a little bit further, meanwhile keeping my hips in line, and back to the front. We're gonna pull it back and bring it forward, and really pull it back. So the important thing here, you're working the arms, again, but your body is working so hard to stay still. Okay, she's got five more. Beautiful, guys. Again, keep squeezing your booty, lifting through the crown of your head. That's it, three more. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Beautiful, keep drawing the shoulders down. Remember, guys, gotta keep that body so still. It's working so hard here. And stepping it forward, beautiful. Next side. All right, so again, straighten out that back leg, shoulders down, and start drawing that elbow all the way back. So you wanna really reach back with that elbow, but keep the shoulders even, okay? We're getting a nice arm workout, we're getting a nice shoulder workout, we're getting our abdominals working, we're having a twist, so we're even working the sides here. And we're breathing. Beautiful, and we have four more to go. She's working, we're working our booties. Let's got one more, guys, I know you can do it. 
and then come back to standing. Excellent. Wow. Great. Good job. All right, we're going to continue on. We're going to use keep the weights. We're just going to use one. We're going to go into some butt busters. All right, so we're going to come down onto our mats. Just put the weight one to the one side, the other to the other. We're going to come down onto your forearms, making a fist with one hand, wrapping the other around it. Your format is really your form is really important here, right? Hips over knees, navel to spine. Now grab that one weight and put it behind your right knee. And then come back down. Now draw the shoulders down. Pull that navel in. So you want to stay rounded. You don't want to sink down. And shift the weight maybe a little bit to the left. You're going to lift that leg straight up and then down. Meanwhile, you're doing, we're going to do 20 of these. You're going to keep pulling that navel in. All right, we don't want to sink into our low backs. We're breathing. Shh, keep pulling that belly in. Draw the shoulders down. So you're also getting an upper body workout here. Right? Good. So the weight's adding, again, more resistance. Again, you can always put the weight down. You don't have to do it with the weight. Good. We're about halfway there with these. We're just going straight up and down. Now, I know some of you are starting to hold your breath. Let's not do that. Let's keep breathing. Navel to spine. We have five more. Beautiful. Good. And two. And one, now we're gonna cross. You're gonna lift the leg straight up and you're gonna cross it over the bottom leg. You're gonna lift up and cross. Again, up and cross. Beautiful, so keep pulling those navels in, guys. Shoulder blades down, drawing down the back. That's it. Maybe think about pressing those fists into the mat to lift you up a little bit more. So we are burning here on the booty. And 10 more crossing, so good. That's it, keep pulling those navels in. She's pulling her navel in, shoulders down. Breathe, 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 guys. I know these are really challenging. That's it. Good. We're getting, lifting our derrieres up a little bit higher. <laughs> By the end of the workout, you'll be lift, they'll be so lifted. Excellent. We have 10 more. Uh, are we breathing? Keep breathing, guys. That's it, keep pressing those fists in. Shoulders drawing down. I know there's a lot going on in Pilates. That's it, we have five more crosses. I know you can do it. That's it. And four. And three. Woohoo! almost there, guys. And one, last one. Now we're gonna take the leg out to the side and we're gonna do what's a fire hydrant. So you're gonna bring the knee down and lift it back up. So this is also working the side. You gotta keep drawing those ribs in. That's it, and we're breathing. That's it, guys, keep going. I know, this is a hard one. Again, the way, if you need to, you take a break. If there's no shame in taking a break. And two. Now we're gonna keep the leg up. We're gonna do little circles forward for 10 and nine, that's it. So keep, try not to sink into that opposing hip, guys. Draw that hip and navel in. Got three more in this direction. Then we're gonna reverse and do 10 in the other direction. Keep drawing the shoulders down, keep pulling that belly in. Try not to sink into the left hip here. We're working the right. That's it, we're almost done, five and four and three, and two, and one. Place that leg down, remove your weight, and go ahead and sit back into child's pose. So separate your knees a little bit. Okay, so we're breathing here. Are we ready for our second side? We're gonna come up to seated. So we're gonna have to do the other side, right? So we're gonna come back around. We're gonna come forward. I'm gonna take the weight, this time it's going behind the left knee. So let's make sure our foundation is really good here. We've got the knees below the hips. She's gonna come down with the elbows directly below the shoulders, drawing the shoulder blades back and pulling the navel in. Don't let yourself sink into that booty and that low back, right? Pulling it in. Are we ready? We're gonna start slowly. We're gonna start lifting that left leg straight up and down. So when you're doing this, we're doing this for 20. All right, when we're doing this, 
You want to keep the body still. By doing that, you're actually engaging more of those abdominal, ex those abdominal muscles, right? So keep pulling that navel in. We're still working the booty, drawing those shoulders down, and we're breathing. We're breathing. That's it. We're going to get long and lean. We have 10 more of these going straight up and down. Packed. Beautiful. Keep breathing. Keep drawing the shoulders down. Nice. Remember, we also don't want to sink into the opposing hip. So keep that right hip firm as well. We have four more. And we're breathing. Nice and still. Beautiful. Two. We have the last one. Now remember, we cross. You're going to go straight up and cross. Keep breathing. Remember, if you need to, you take a break. Keep drawing those ribs in, guys. Navel to spine so we don't sink down, right? Drawing the corset. We're breathing. Good. We're lifting up and crossing. That's it. Beautiful, guys. I know you can do it. This is really challenging, I know. Especially with the added weight. So you have your own weights. Go for it. All right. We have 10 more. Almost, we're halfway there with the crossing. Beautiful. That's it. Breathing, guys. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Oh, what happened to that navel? Bring it in. So don't let your low back dip. Good, we have five more. Nice. That's it. Keep going. Good, so we're getting a nice round booty by doing these, right? And our arms are nice and straight. Last one. Ah, so now we're going to take that leg out to the side. We're going to go into our fire hydrant. So we're going to lift up for 20 to the side. So on this one, you will also want to make sure you're not sinking too far into that right hip. You don't want to be leaning. So you got to draw the ribs in. Shoulders are down. Please breathe, guys. You can also relax your head down if you want. You don't have to hold it all the way up. Nice. Lifting it up to the side. Are you breathing, guys? Yeah? Good, we have 10 more. Breathing. Again, watch that right hip. Shoulders down. Can you feel the burn? I know I can. And I'm not doing them right now. Five more. Yes, breathing. Lift it up as high as you can, lifting out with that knee. That's it, two more. Beautiful, last one. Now we're gonna take that leg back up there and we're gonna circle the knee. We're gonna take it out to the side, beautiful, and circle the knee forward, a little circle. We're gonna do 10 in each direction. That's it, we're still breathing. We have four more. Try to keep that torso still. Two more. Last one, let's reverse the direction here. That's it, beautiful. We're breathing again, guys. Torso still, navel to spine. Five more, three, and two, and one. Beautiful. Remove the weight. Again, go ahead and sit back into child's pose. Ah, that should feel good. It should feel nice and tight there. All right, then come around onto your back. Let's give it a little bit of a stretch here. So you're going to come onto your back and draw those knees in. So let's stretch out the lower bottom. So bring the knees in, put um, one knee on, one foot on the floor, flex your right foot and cross it over. Exactly, beautiful. Slowly draw that left knee in and relax the neck and shoulders. On your inhale, expand, exhale, draw the leg in a little closer. So I know the tendency on this one is to cross the knee. You want to keep that knee that's drawn in, in line with the same shoulder. If you go across, you're not getting as deep a stretch. Inhale and exhale. We'll just let it go. This should feel really good. Let's do one more breath on this side. Inhale and exhale. Slowly release down. And just lift the hips up and down to recenter yourself on the mat. And then the other side, flexing that foot to cross. When you're ready, draw that knee in. And again, relaxing the shoulders down. We don't want to get all tight here while we're trying to stretch out the booty, right? We're breathing. Inhale. Exhale, navel to spine. Think about drawing the leg in a little bit closer. Two more breaths here. 
Oh, and appreciate all that hard work you did. Exhaling, beautiful, release it down. Okay, we're gonna stay down. We're gonna come and we're gonna do a little bit of bridge work. So we're gonna face this way. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna come all the way down. We're gonna grab our weights. We're gonna do some chest presses here. Again, if you don't wanna use the weights, you don't have to. So you're gonna keep that tailbone down. Your feet need to be parallel, not too close to your bottom. You're gonna start with the, the arms out to the side, arms straight up. You're gonna lift your hips up, all right? So see that your knees are in line with your hips. They're not out too far. So from here, you're gonna reach the arms all the way up and lead with the elbows down without moving those hips. Try to stay nice and even. You're gonna reach up as high as you can and draw it down. And reach it up on the inhale and exhaling it down. Again, inhale, reaching it up and exhaling it down. And five, draw the shoulders down. Keep the hips lifted, okay? Keep those hips lifted here and the booty squeezed. That's it, beautiful. And three, and exhale. We got two more guys. Beautiful. Good breathing. I can hear y'all breathing. Lift the hips up and slowly roll it down. Ah, so we're gonna keep the elbows close. We're gonna lift the hips and bring the weights down as you lift the hips up. And as the hips come down, you're gonna roll one bone at a time. The elbows come, stay glued, but the arms come back up. Here we go, we're gonna reach, lift up, and roll down. And again, lifting it up, reaching, and rolling it down. And four, reaching with the arms. Keep your booty squeezed here, guys. Keep those knees in line with the second toe. That's actually the middle of your foot. Ah. And lifting it up and reaching the arms. Lift up the hips a little higher and roll down one bone at a time. That's it, we have four more here. And down. Yep, we're almost there, three. And down, we're breathing, good. And two, lifting up. And one, this last one, we're gonna go up and we're gonna hold it up there. Lift up a little higher and then slowly lower down one bone at a time. All right, we're gonna end up with a little bit more abdominal work here. So we're gonna come all the way down straight. You're gonna take one block in your hand and overhead. Your other hand can either be out to your side, straight in a T, or it can be behind your head if you need the neck support. So I've got the weight in my right hand, I'm gonna take an inhale, I'm gonna reach my right arm up to meet my left leg. I'm gonna reach up with both my fingers and toes and then come down, keeping the arms and legs straight. So this is gonna work that core, all right? We're also working the, the arms. We're gonna, here we go, inhale it up for one. Reach as high as you can and exhale down. So again, keep a rounded spine when you come up. Reaching as high as you can and down. And four, and lift all the way up as high as you can. And down. Again, if you need to, you can take one hand behind the head, reach it up, and down. That's it, reach up as high as you can. And down. And we have four more guys on this side. Beautiful. Reach, so the extra weight makes it a little bit harder. Curl up, here we go. We're gonna reach all the way up. And down, last one here. Reach it up as high as you can and come down. Nice, let's do that on the other side. So switch the weight to the left hand. The arm is up. Remember to keep the shoulder blade drawing down the back, okay? Keep those ribs in. Your right arm is out to the side as a T. You're gonna take an inhale, reach the right leg up and reach with the left arm. Come up as high as you can. Keep the arm and leg straight, one bone at a time down into the mat and lift it up and reach. And again, rolling down, nice round spine, reaching and lowering. Again, four, reach it up as high as you can, hollowing out the belly. And reach, beautiful guys. That's it, we're almost there. 
Nice. We have four more. Reach up. And back. And up. Oh, I can really feel these. And two. Ah, oh, we have one more. Reach it all the way up. Hold it. Reach. And bring it down. Nicely done. So now we're going to do something with both weights. You're going to grab your other weight. Draw those knees in. Give yourself just a big inhale and exhale here. Woo! All right, you're gonna extend the legs to the sky. All right, you're gonna curl your chin to your chest. You're gonna reach your right arm to your left leg. Come up as high as you can, and then you're gonna bring the arm down. It's almost like we're boxing up here. You're gonna reach the left arm to the right leg and bring it back center. And then all the way up and down. So while you're reaching, try not to stick that belly out. Keep it hollowed out. And right, and get as tall as you can. And left, without rocking down. If your neck starts bothering you here, you can rest your head down and reach up this way. There's more ways to do this. There's always a modification when you're not feeling that well. We have 10 more, guys. Reach, and down, and reach, and down. Reaching, beautiful. Keep hollowing out the belly. Keep drawing the shoulder blades down the back. That's really important too. All right, ribs are in. We have four more, guys. That's it. And reaching, hollowing out the belly. And reach, two more. We can do it. And two, last one, reach it up. Draw those knees in. Uh, set your weights down to the side. Give yourself a nice hug here. Rock a little side to side. Ah, inhale and exhale. Curl your chin to your chest. We're gonna roll up with a rounded spine coming back up to seated. Wow, we just did a 30 minute all over body Pilates work. We got long, lean, and strong. Let's take an inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhaling hands to heart center. Again, inhale, reaching the arms up. Take more breath in at the top and exhale. Last time, big, big inhale, and exhaling all the air out. Thank you for joining us again.